Hello friends, welcome to the One Electron Universe. A few days ago, I did a review, a tutorial and a teardown of this multimeter on the channel. If you like this kind of content, please go and watch those videos and also please do subscribe. While doing the tutorial and the teardown, I was puzzled by a couple of things. I posted those queries on Ask Electronics on Reddit and the good folks there actually helped me figure out what these were. So let's look at the first mystery. Now while I was going through all the options, uh, I noticed this option, right? So here it says milliampers. It has a capacitance symbol and 1.5 volts. So not exactly sure what it does. What I did was I did a few tests uh, in the mystery video trying to figure out what this was. And I kind of concluded that this uh, was similar to the 200 milliampere option here. I mean, it, it also shows 200 at the bottom of the screen when you go there. In fact, if you just go there, yeah, it shows 200. So I, I, I concluded that this was basically measuring current. Now I was partially right. Right. What this option really does is this option is actually a battery tester. Right. So what it does is it helps you actually figure out if the battery that you're testing is good or not. Now, the puzzle that I had in my mind at that point in time was that I already have a way of measuring the voltage, which is here. Right. I can put the indicator on two volts and I can measure the battery's voltage and that's it. Right. Why do I need a separate option? And the reason is, just like in real life, not all who have potential can deliver. What it means is, this option just helps you measure the potential or the voltage of the battery. However, what you really need to do or really need to find out is, is that battery good enough when it's under load, when it's trying to run a load? Uh, so again, I have devised a test and let's see what this means. Yeah. Okay, so here what I have is uh, two things. One is a very simple setup here where I obviously have a capacitance. As you can see, uh, it's a, a 10 microfarad capacitance in series with a resistor, right? And I have this dry cell 1.5 volt dry cell battery. Uh, and what we are going to do is we are going to actually measure the voltage of this first, right? Uh, so let's, yeah, let's put this here. So let's first measure the voltage. So let's first go to the voltage uh, option. Yeah. And let's measure the voltage. And as you will notice, this is, I mean, this is a fairly new fresh battery. And as you can see, the voltage is 1.5 to 1.5. Yeah, basically 1.5 volts. Right? Now, let's look at this capacitance. I mean, nothing, nothing special in this. And again, many of you would already know what this is going to show, but right now, uh, the capacitance is discharged, so it should show, yeah, roughly zero volts. Let's do this. Let's take this battery here and let's charge the capacitor via the resistor. Okay, now this is 1.5 volts, so yes, I know some of you might be concerned about safety, but this should be okay. And okay, the, let's see if uh, the capacitor is charged. Yes, and as you can see, it's now 1.49 volts. Now, what I'm trying to show here is that it doesn't matter if it's the battery or the voltage, they both charge to roughly 1.4, 1.5 volts. Now, are both of them the same? Obviously not. So now we have a capacitor, which is charged at 1.5 volts. And of course this battery, which is also at 1.5 volts. So now let's try the battery tester option. So we go to that, yeah, we choose that option, right? and we change the leads as we are now going to measure the current. Now you will notice the difference of course is when I put the leads, uh, when I test the battery for example here, it's drawing, yeah it's roughly drawing about 40 milliamps, 37 milliamps, right? Uh, that's about 350 ohm resistance. Okay, Now let's see if the capacitor can do the same. Of course not. 
In fact, what has happened is because the multimeter is presenting a very small resistor in series and then measuring the current through the resistor, uh, the capacitor actually quickly discharged to the resistor and now it doesn't hold any current or any voltage rather sorry and in fact if you go back here and you go back here you will see that the resistor has discharged completely there you go see it's almost down to zero volts uh, so so that's that's the difference between the battery tester option of course the printing here is horrible so this probably is not meant to be a capacitance this is probably meant to be a battery symbol but uh, yeah the printing job is not good so that's it for the first mystery and uh, we can conclude as in real life not everyone who has potential can deliver the second mystery is more like uh, where's Waldo uh, so almost all multimeters uh, they would normally have a potentiometer inside so that you can adjust uh, the, the meter uh, to calibrate it to the right values. Now, when I opened up uh, the, I mean, the idea for me was when I did the teardown, uh, was to open up the multimeter and look for something that looks like this. So this is a potentiometer, and uh, the screw that you see in the top, yeah, the, you can you can tweak the screw, and uh, that will basically allow you to change the resistance, right? And which will help you basically adjust the readings. Now, when I did open up the multimeter what I got was this now you can imagine my disappointment when I couldn't figure out where was the potentiometer or which one was the potentiometer let's take a closer look maybe I missed something how about this I give you five seconds can you find the potentiometer Could you find it? If my, if like me, you thought this was a potentiometer, sorry, you're wrong. This is the tweeter, the, the speaker that gives out the beep when there's a shot in the circuit. And here you go. This is the potentiometer. If you could identify it, you got a sharp eye. Congratulations. I just couldn't find it. Let's take a closer look. This tiny potentiometer basically does two things it saves the money for the manufacturer so that the uh, production costs are low and it also saves space and for the kind of adjustments that we need for this multimeter i think this potentiometer will be adequate so there you go both are mysteries solved thank you for watching if you do like this video please do subscribe to the channel thanks and bye and take care till the next video this is the one electron universe.